Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure a tax surface reduction rules with the help of group policy. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about deployment of attack surface reduction rules from PowerShell. In this video, we'll see how to deploy it through group policy, how to test attack surface reduction rules, and how to check logs in event viewer and alerts on security portal. Now, as I've mentioned this in my last video, there are only three things that you need to keep in mind while enabling attack surface reduction rules. The very first one is audit mode. So when it comes to group policy object, then this is the particular location where you have to go, which is Windows Defender Exploit Guard. Now, let's say if you don't get these folders mentioned in the GPU that you're trying to create, in that case, you need to make sure that you have installed latest ADMX files. Otherwise, these definitions will not be listed. Now, the video where I was talking about hardware based isolation, which is Microsoft Defender Application Guard. Over there, I have covered this in a lot more detail and I will be sharing that link in the description. If you're not getting this option, go ahead and watch that video first. That will help you fix this particular issue. Now for audit mode, the value should be two with the respective to all the goods or let's say the rules that you want to activate in your enterprise. The next one is block mode, wherein this value has to be one. That's all. This is the only change that you have to do. So basically in this particular setting of configuring a tax surface reduction rules, you have to click on enabled and then click on show, populate all the grids and give value one. That's it. That's all you have to do. For one mode, the value needs to be six. Now, when you will read this documentation, which is basically the general description of a GPO, it lists down over there zero, one and two. But with that being said, you can use this value six for one mode. And this is something which is officially documented in the articles as well. I will share that link in the description. Now, once you have configured all this, the same story. If you want to check events, you can go ahead and check an event viewer in this particular location, which is application and service log, Microsoft Windows, Windows Defender, the event ID 5007 will list down the settings which are changed. 1121 and 1122 will list down the settings or let's say the process which are audited and on behalf of those processes what changes have been made who made that particular changes i mean this is the upper limit of the information that's available on event viewer now even though this is something which i've already covered in a lot more detail but still i would request you all to please go ahead and read this article of a tax surface reduction rule references wherein it lists down that which rule is supported for which os and what are the general prerequisites that should exist okay so for example from deployment standpoint whichever server starting from windows server 2012 r2 has the latest admx updated will have windows defender exploit guard folder available in the gpo but similarly, there are some client side requirements as well. When you are using Microsoft endpoint configuration manager very precisely. So make sure you read this article. This will give you a lot more insights. So for example, if you are using Microsoft endpoint configuration manager, let's say hypothetically, then these are the prerequisites that should exist. Then you should only go ahead and deploy this. Okay. But this article overall lists down everything that I have covered. So once you have seen all the videos, please go ahead and read this article as well. It will make concrete understanding in terms of how exactly attack surface reduction rules work. Now let me show you all this in action and then things will make a lot more sense. So what you see now is one of my machine and the host name of this machine is domain, which I will be using to enable attack surface reduction rules with group policy. Now, the first thing is, as of now, this machine is already onboarded to MDE. And as you can see, sense service is running. Similarly, for WinDefend, Windows Defender AV service is running on this machine. As well as if I do get off an MP preference, there are no attack surface reduction tool IDs and actions which are getting mentioned over here because this is something that will be pushed through group policy. 
Now, the last thing that we have to verify is get hyphen MP computer status wherein real time protection is set to true. So, which basically means all of the three prerequisites are met for now. So, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'll switch to my server, which is this one, and then I'll go to gpmc.msc from where I will be creating a new group policy object. Now, let's say for this demo, I'm just going to name it as ASR sample, for example. Okay. Now, the moment this group policy object is created, I'll right click and then I'll click on edit and then I'll navigate to the respective setting, which is inside policies, admin templates, Windows components, and then you have to go inside Windows Defender Antivirus. This is the one. And then you have to go to Windows Defender Exploit Guard attack surface reduction now this server where i'm configuring all these policies 2019 okay now you have to click on this option which says configure attack surface reduction rules now here you have to click on enable and then click on this option which says show rules okay now when you will click on show you have to populate these values which is one zero or two zero no purpose it's either one or two or six to be very precise if you remember the snip that i have shown you while i was covering the deck okay so let me just copy one of the grid and paste it here and let's just give any of these values that we have discussed let's give it one to make sure this rule is getting implemented in block mode now i have to click on apply and okay and that's it this is what uh all you need for attack surface reduction policies to get created apart from exclusions now this is something which is very important and i've told this before as well that you need to make sure you have updated admx on the server on which you are creating gpu because in most of the scenarios you may end up in a situation where you're not even getting this option now this is because the definitions are not updated so the moment you will update definitions, everything will work as expected. Now, the next thing that I have to do is to move my server, my machine, which is the domain machine, to a OU where this group policy will be applied. Now for this demo, this OU, which is Office 365, has already a GPO mapped and the GPO name is windows defender asr rule so what i have done is i've already created a group policy object and all the grids have been added already with the respective settings and that too of block mode okay so let's say now if i go to windows defender exploit guard folder and then if i go to this attack surface reduction folder just give me a minute yeah this is the one and then i'll click on show now as you can see all of them have been added for now in audit mode sorry not in block mode as of now they all have been added in audit mode so now i'll just go ahead and quickly change these values to one so that i can show you how these rules behave in block mode to be very precise i'll click on apply okay and then i'll just go ahead and run a gp update but before that let me show you the machine yeah this is the one and now i'm going to move it to office 365 so now the expected behavior is this machine should get this gpo settings updated the moment we'll do a gp update force on the server as well as on the client okay so for now the gpo is updated on my server the next step is to go back to my client where i have to update these settings okay so here also i'll just go ahead and run gp update space forward slash force now this is something which is completely dependent upon your requirement what is the replication time and everything those core concepts are related to 80 so if the gpu itself is not getting applied there could be a different set of troubleshooting that you have to do okay so now i'll go ahead and run get hyphen mp preference again and I'll scroll up and see whether the attack surface reduction rule IDs with the proper values have been populated or not. And as you can see, everything over here is getting listed. 
now the next thing is to go ahead and reproduce or let's say try to access a malicious code where an attack surface reduction rule should get triggered and we should get the expected behavior okay so i'm going to use the same demo which i've shown you in our powershell uh in our last uh, video itself wherein i was demonstrating the rules with the help of powershell itself so i've launched command prompt and now i'm going to navigate uh, to that particular folder uh, of ps tool itself wherein i will be using ps exec command to launch command prompt and the expected behavior is it should be blocked the same one which we have got in our last video okay so ps exec space hyphen s hyphen icmd dot exe and the moment i'll click on accept as you can see this action has been blocked now the same information can also be viewed in event viewer depending upon the configuration uh, that we have done so this is the notification that i'm getting and if i want i can go ahead and get the same information in event viewer as well as on the portal so this is how it is and this is how it works end to end let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video so we have discussed about configuring attack surface reduction rule from group policy how to test attack surface reduction rule how to view events and alerts on security portal in the next video i'm going to let you know how you can deploy attack surface reduction rules from intune or microsoft endpoint manager portal now if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your technical community and if possible please join our channel to support us thank you so much